Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you having trouble with your Face ID? Sometimes when you try to set up Face ID, it would not be available and it would recommend to set up Face ID later. There would also be times when Face ID has been disabled on your iPhone. A problem can also be detected causing Face ID to be grayed out. In this video, I will show you the best troubleshooting steps to resolve this issue. Let's go. The first and easiest fix is to clean your front camera lens. Removing the protection glass can also help because it may be obstructing your camera's view. Force restarting your iPhone can also help to resolve the issue. To force restart, push the volume up button, then do the same for the volume down button afterwards. Push and hold the side button until the Apple logo comes up. If Face ID is still not working, then you can set up an alternative appearance that allows another face aside from yours to unlock your iPhone. Go to Settings, find Face ID and Passcode, and type in your password when prompted. Then you can see the option for Set up an alternative appearance. Once you click on Get Started, you just need to follow the on-screen instructions to successfully create a new user appearance for your iPhone. Another alternative is to Reset Face ID. This function removes all your Face ID data, but you can always set it up again after the reset. Tap on Reset Face ID. After that, click on Set up Face ID to create a new one. If none of the methods I have previously mentioned resolve the problem yet, the next thing you can do is to download and install a software to your computer. For this, I recommend Tenorshare Reboot. This program is ideal for fixing iOS system bugs and issues without any data loss. Note that some features of this software are not for free, but you can avail a one-month license and this should be enough if you want to test the features out. You can click the link in the tag above or in the description below to download the software. After installation, launch Reboot on your Mac. Remember that you need to purchase the software for you to proceed with the repair. I already purchased the software, so now I will connect my iPhone to my computer. When connecting your iPhone to the computer, make sure to use an original or an MFI certified cable to avoid any interruptions with transferring data. Then click on Start and choose Standard Repair in order to fix the system issues without any data loss. Also note that your device will be updated to the latest version during the process. Once Reboot gets the matching firmware, you will have to download it first to proceed with the repair. You need to wait for at least 10 minutes and keep your iPhone connected to the computer while the repair processes. Once done, your iPhone will reboot and you can now check if the problem has been solved. If your iPhone has a software bug, the problem should now be fixed. Unfortunately, if none of the steps mentioned work for you, there may be a possibility that your iPhone is experiencing a hardware issue. To check if that is the case, you need to survey if your true depth camera is working properly. Open your camera and tap on Portrait. Make sure that the camera is facing front. Now assess if you can't see yourself clearly on camera or the background is blurred. If so, then it means your true depth camera is having some issues. Therefore, if there are any damages and your warranty is still in effect, you can go to an Apple store and they will repair it for free. If not, the repair is quite expensive and may cost you roughly over $200. It might be probably not even worth the money because you will have to replace the entire display. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.